Um, I think the answer to that is uh, in, at the level that we have to have it, we don't have it yet. There is a lot of data which is suggestive, but it's not absolutely certain, usually because it's people going back through the medical notes and people's memories of what happened. Now, what is interesting is that for me, the near-death experience is one of our ways or one of the roads by which we can understand consciousness. So therefore, it should tell us something about human consciousness and it should be central and it's very important. Can we get funding for it? No. <laughs> so this means that one of the most important sets of experiences that we need to do, we can't actually do. In fact, Sam and I put in a grant to one of the uh, European institutions and the idea was to put cards on the ceiling so that the people, when they had their cardiac arrests, could see the cards and report. And they came back and they said, brilliantly designed study, you can do it, no cards on the ceiling. Now that, of course, really uh, altered exactly That's what true. we wanted to do. So <laughs> if there is more money about, then we can do it properly. And so that's really what we have to do. But I think things are changing a little bit. No, in general, I agree with Peter on this. Um, and I, one of the sad things is that despite the great general interest, despite the media interest in this topic, um, there's no funding institution interest. <laughs> you know, people don't die of near-death experiences. <laughs> so there's not, you know, so it's, it's hard. Um, you know, I submitted an NIH grant, and I could tell from the reviewers' comments that they didn't even know where to, what <laughs> section, what study <laughs> section to put this grant. Um, and the same with uh, private foundations as well. It's it's really unfortunate because really there's a lot more science and work that really could be done. The other problem, though, is I think it's very difficult, just even in collecting those stories, mm -hmm. because first of all, in my experience, most people do not want to talk about it with increased awareness of near death experience or near death experiences more and more people are beginning to feel comfortable mentioning it but the vast majority of people if they mention it at all they mention it to their spouse or their parent or someone and they're immediately shut down and they never talk about it again until they share that experience with me or someone else uh, who who would understand them. And so I think the first problem is actually having people tell you their story. The second problem, even with the idea of putting the cards, which on the surface sounds like a brilliant idea. I will tell you that from my personal experience, I probably would have come back and not been able to discuss yeah. the cards because I think that's it old was technology wholly now. unimportant. Yeah. I, um, I things have moved would on never from that. have even thought twice about taking those notes, partly because I had no intention of coming back. And so I think it's very difficult to design a study like that that would prove this out-of-body out of consciousness.